Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different horror games, both part of the 5th Red X Collection, and the first one we'll be playing is called Resver, which is a horror game about going to a very weird rave. But what a bleak place. Um, here, phone call. My phone is smoking. Yo, yo, better not be sleeping. Risfer's reopening got invites. It's a side of Delhi, speakeasy style. Meet us there, we're on our way. Click. Sure. Oh, a cat. Meow. Meow. You can pet the cat. Good game. If I can get direct with here, then what a mess. Turn the TV off, save power. Let's get going. Got my hat. I'm ready to go. Cause that's all I'm wearing. Kind of a very artsy opening. I actually did like it. Now the, the the opening and the the kind of colors and layout. I'm uh and the the kind of music going on. I never cat. Oh, you know. I feel very much like Ryan Gosling right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Is this the place? Okay. Ice spirit tobacco. Yeah. Let's go over here. More cats? No, it's a rat. That is a very large rat. Never mind. Here's a cat. Meow. There's also another large rat. And yeah, let's go in. So is this this where the rave is at? In the back, I guess. Okay. Back here. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of a... Kind of a scary layout. Oh, here we go. It's, uh... 
You know, I don't think this whole room is up to code. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, it was just a dream. I got the party going on without me. Okay, looks like I paid them. And we're getting in. This is the place. Let me just move for the crowd and try to look cool. Hey. Yo, you made it! Dope. This place is banging. It's really anime. Trio's really sane tonight. Let's rage. Yay. That's like a whole damn stadium in here. Oh, I've lost him in the crowd. We're falling. Maybe it's a symbolic fall. I just tripped. Right. Oh, I'm alive. Thankfully, this like pile of people saved me. Oh god. Come on people, stop sinking. Okay, let's get out of here. You ever sink or swim? Actually, uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Something's going on. Yeah, the, um... I hesitate to call water. It's most likely blood is rising. I'm assuming it's gonna rise till it flows through here. What's going on? Are people being sacrificed? Yeah, it opened up. Going down. This is not rave, this is just being stuck in a toilet. Hmm. We kind of saw that distortion... Well, I'm getting out of here. Don't want to be flushed. Never mind. Let's go be flushed. It's the distortion's getting everywhere. All tracing back to that pile of bodies. Nope. Cause like a nightmare. Or maybe a cool mare. In your perspective.
It's catching up. Hey. Never mind, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm alive. Don't get by that thing. Okay. There's a chainsaw. Well, we saw those NPCs up above earlier. It could just be copy-paste. Well, the distortion we saw earlier is coming in from the floor. I heard screams, so... I take it everyone died. So there's multiple ways I think you can interpret. You can go with a symbolic thing and say like, you know, all the weird falling into the pit, all that stuff didn't actually occur. You know, it's just took like some uh, pill or something, you know, and you, you just crashed. Like you were done. Maybe everyone there was, I mean, you know, everyone took some bad stuff. Or it is a kind of uh, supernatural aspect and the combined rave energy of everybody kind of provide some weird otherworldly being or maybe it's a mixture of two like the journey was symbolic but the otherworldly being at the end wasn't there's another way else to take it like that so that was primarily a visual kind of audio experience it's a pretty interesting one uh it made me kind of think of um i'm trying to make a comparison to some of our kind of surreal like imagery horror games doesn't quite count but maybe like killer seven give me that vibe not saying like it was inspired by it but just like the parallels of like the polygons and stuff like that anyway so that's it for that game on to the next one so the second game we'll be playing from the dread x collection 5 is rod and stigma and rod and stigma is a horror game from the creator of the gallagher case which is another horror game i played 
that is specifically Resident Evil Silent Hill inspired, and it may or may not have connections to the Gallagher case. Finally, here it is. Gallagher Sports Center, a place where 12 children went missing, including my daughter, Amanda. I used to be a good cop before the incident, before the earth swallowed her up. I was a whole person. Then three years of investigation where I found nothing, not even a suspect acting strangely. I lost my mind, and consequently my job. Now I'm no longer on the police force, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I don't care about the consequences. This place has been closed since that happened, so I'll be careful. I carry my gun, even if I'm not authorized to. I don't give a shit. I like the car opening. It's actually a part of like the whole menu, too. Like, if you go to the options, you actually move around in the car a little. Okay. We are... <laughs> we are the hitman, Agent uh, 47. <laughs> the door is locked, and there's no one on the handle. Hello, Director Gallagher. We are finished with the construction you ordered. The key's under the world, as you said. The mechanism works just as you asked us the sequence as well. I leave it here in case you don't remember it. Okay. So that means... Yeah. Under the world. There are two buttons on each side. Right. Left. Left. Left? Wow, that's pretty elaborate. Amanda? Oh god, here we go. There's a piece of paper under the door. I enlisted here because I feared death. I never thought this would become the worst month of my life. They promise you that by praying to the right god, you will never die. The director of this compound is the head of this mad party. He has sworn to me several times that he's 178 years old. Well, this 178 year old is about to get shot multiple times. It could be 178 ain't no more if I find that thing is still alive in here. The energy must be turned on. To all in nausea of sanity users, director speaking. Activate the engine power supply to drain the water. You know, first the one on the far left, then the furthest from it, and finally the closest to that one. The coins are marked with the rod and stigma, which, oh, that's the title of this game, which from the day we found this wonderful belief back in 1982 has helped us so much. I left a surprise for all of you in the bathroom of the basketball court. Remember my wife? Yesterday I found she was cheating on me. I hope you like it. That sounds weird. That way. It's a piece of paper under the switch. No for Alex, too. They take you to the subway hotel, and from then on your life changes. They pray to a god called Auduk. The possessor of all knowledge in the universe. Second from me. I had already heard about the failures in reality, but these people not only know about it, but they've mastered it. The idea is simple. Science and magic are the same, due to the basic principle of quantum physics. If a living being was able to store all this knowledge of the universe inside his head, he would be able to never die, as well as obtain other incredible abilities or become a cool Let's player. Imagine having the same exact coordinates of every atom in the universe, or being an expert in all branches of science, literature, and so on. These people have been studying this phenomenon since 1982. I like your. There's something that's interesting right here. It's I doubt 
I don't think I've seen this done before. I, it might have been. But the current image of what we're seeing, right, once we leave the menu, is in the top left. So let's say you turn on the menu, like, oh, someone's about to attack you. You're not going to be surprised. Like, you're going to see in that top left there in the menu. Okay, that's drained. Door is locked. Gonna walk around the whole span. Pipe is broken. I think it moved a little force. Thanks. Pistol, rusty pipe. Up, down, change weapon. Ow, I'm dying. This pipe sucks. I should never use the pipe, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, what the hell was that thing? Sub red elf. Um, it's like, uh... Whatchamacallit, um... I always forget names of things when I, like, most need them. Uh, the one where you play an engineer. Dead space. Yeah, we should probably stick to the gun. Cause... You, like, you can't, like, like move with that pipe. That seems very... Essentially, last resorty. It's a small hall. It's a grieving of a moon. Grieving of a flower. Looks like there's a puzzle down there. What I might not be able to solve yet. More ammo here. No, it's pills. I thought it was ammo. That's ammo. During 25% of life. Sure. So, some people wonder, like, why didn't you use the gun in the first encounter? Uh, I, I play my games a very specific way. And as that is, I like to know the boundaries of the gameplay. Which requires you to essentially experiment in a losing kind of way. So, like, an encounter like that tells me, all right, how much da damage do enemies do? How many hits do they take? Are they fast? Are they tanky? Like, do they get stunned easily? And so on and so on. So, if I was a time traveler, I'd be abusing the hell out of that. <laughs> <laughs> a student's notebook from years ago. My friends challenged me to reach the bomb with a pool. I stayed until late to try. I'd say I'm the best one holding my breath. There's three holes in the deepest part of the pool at the side. Yeah, I saw that. This is quite a bit of health I'm not too worried about things. Yay. But that's like I like to um, go back to my previous one. That's how I like to solve problems in general. I prefer eliminating the outsides of a thing. Even like when I go for like other endings. I like to, you know, I've mentioned this in other videos. I like to comb the perimeter of where I'm like looking. And then like focus down. Ah! Ah! Ghosts! Master key. Is it really masterful, though? It's 
I will use my gun this time. Dead. So... Four shots. Meaning that you can't kill two of them in a go. Okay, it's dead. I figured you were something was gonna come out of this place. Flower coin. Okay, we need two more, I think it was. Let me check my health real quick. I think we're good. I think we'll take one hit. And if we get hit again, we can just go in and pop the 25% pill. I'm not sure if this is like Resident Evil where they can't necessarily kill you until you're like on the very last thing of health. Like you get a little bit of like. You get like a little bit of a leeway. Wait. Door is locked. Let's use that key. I can't use this here. This one here. I'm assuming the... Is he blinking? We got something. Some kind of ghostly disturbance in the force. I see it. I can see it for the fence. Yeah, the shot damage has been consistent. I'm not sure if headshots count or not, considering you guys don't seem to have a head, but... Um, I think I'll use one more pill. Okay, I'm satisfied. Beer. Hello, Director. If you see this, we will be looking at the transposition of information. I want my brother to enjoy the show. First the woman dies, then the boy dies, and the girl dies. Remember that. Huh. Ah, it's, see, it's a puzzle. Boy, the adult, and then that's the girl. Do I have to really let you out? Oh, okay, thank god. Never mind, it's letting you out. Is it? Lever is already down. Not really sure what's going down. Hmm. He just released them all out! One down. Wasted one shot, which sets me. I need to isolate you. Maybe how I killed Matchy really didn't matter. It might have just been like the gates. There's that symbol again. Piece of paper next to the coin. I coin. Okay. Note Alex Triple. They gave us a book called The Four Parts Book. It seems to be a kind of Bible about this religion. The symbol is everywhere and even appears on our skin in the form of a stigma sometime after reading the book. Uh, I think we wasted about four rounds. That was enough to kill another monster, which upsets me.
What is this? Shoot. I see they gave you ammo for this purpose. What? Daughter. This is a note from the director. I have left a gift for the first person to arrive. The code is the year religion was created. Um, it was 1982? Yeah, I was right, I remembered. Moon coin. You may have all the coins? It was ever four or three coins? We got company. I think I can break them. Hey, can you break this for me? It'd be swell. Oh, you tried to take a little pot shot at me. It's a lot of them. I'm gonna try to avoid killing them. Because we're essentially done in this area. I can conserve my ammo. I just need to get you over here. Hi, everybody. See you later. See what they think here? No. Going back in. Whoa! Uh. Ah! Man, it's not real. Moon. Prism power. Flower. And then I see. Secret. It's a paper, piece of paper in the hole. There's a door at the end. Now I know what they do with all those people they kidnap. They practically mutilate them while they're still alive. This place is financed through the snuff videos they produce. Through these practices, they create a link with Aldok and they provide him with their lifeless bodies. He revives them by doing something called information transposition. These things we see hanging around were once people. Yeah, high alert. High alert. Amanda, my god, it's really you. What the hell have they done to you? She's still human looking. Hmm. As soon as I take that off the door, somebody can get burst through it. I gotta be careful. I could be holding back something. What? What is. No! No! Ah! Don't want to do this! Amanda! Ah! Oh god. How could I do this? So these things were really people. With those missing children, I killed my own daughter.
piece of paper on the floor. 10 rounds. Basically, you can get two more of these things. Although Mando was a little stronger than the others. I figure that somehow these monsters were still the people they once were. It seems that storing so much information inside the brain of a living organism results in these horrible beings. They call them demigods. So it's a bit like a, uh, kind of like a Lovecraftian thing a little bit. I'm gonna need some more ammo. Go this way first. Could be loot I need. A piece of cloth is sticking out of the container. It looks like a dress. It's completely dirty and has some blood stains on it. So that's why there were so many trash containers in this horrible place. Huh. Boss fight? Because we're back to the car. People say that hope is the last thing you lose. But what do you do when all you have is nothing? Hope and pain have mixed, now my mouth tastes like rust and vomit. Daughter, I have failed you. Remember your smell hurts more than now, than before. It can't be with you, it can't be moving the other side. Don't do it, buddy. Who knows? So that's it for Ron and Stigma. Uh, I'm guessing this is... I'm not sure if it's a sequel or prequel or cycle, whatever you want to say. I, I'm guessing it is kind of to the Gallagher case. Uh, we saw some similar vibes with the... Uh, I guess the signals from the TV transform you. It means to see you into horrible monsters. And it looks like this developer is kind of setting up a uh, overall world connected to this whole kind of issue. So if I had to compare this against the Gallagher case, I would say I probably like the Gallagher case more. Uh, and it's not necessarily because the Gallagher case was exactly... Um, not, not like it was like hugely better or anything like that. It was just more of it felt complete. This one felt a bit more like a taste of what they might want to do as a different type of gameplay style. And I understand why it's probably short, it's because the Dread X games, um, even though they are a overall kind of product, they are technically still under some of the game jam format where you have like a set time limit that's got to get done by with some slight adjustments. So in this one, the survival aspect of the survival horror part never quite had enough time to come to fruition, which is too bad. While the Gallagher case, well, I think about equally short, actually, was not a survival horror game. So that, it, it was a little bit less of an issue. It was more of a, uh, I suppose you'd call that a bit of like a walkthrough horror game. Like, walk, get jump scared, obviously don't walk into the monster, you die kind of thing. I'd be curious to see where the developer goes next. If they go with the, the third person horror game again, or if they'll go with uh, first person. And I don't think that's the style is necessarily bad, actually, because um, the, the PT first-person style horror is quite common. So it might be interesting to see if they go with this one, just to refine it more. That'd be a little bit of an interesting take. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play these two different horror games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.